is happening guys, it's your boy TC back with another video. So we're off to Russia and this is the second leg of the quarterfinals within the Europa League. Uh, we saw a lot of players being rested within the Premier League on Sunday against Southampton and uh, I do believe this will do us a world of good moving forward for this particular game. Um, of course, uh, some of the players that were featured within the Europa League game did play, so the likes of Shaka played against Southampton. But moving forward, I do expect us to be fielding a full strength team uh, that will of course include like a Zet, no Aubameyang, of course, he's certainly cup tied. So going forward to Russia, my expected starting 11 on the evening should be Petr Cech in goal. Ospina still has a minor injury, which he still needs to get over. At uh, right back, we obviously saw Hector Bellerin as well play during the weekend. So I'm assuming he will continue his duties in that position. Koscielny had a rest. He wasn't even on the bench. He was out in the stands. So he will be returning to the team. Mustafi, hopefully he can iron out those mistakes. Um, he will also be featuring, and I'm assuming Nacho Monreal, as he rested over the weekend, he will be reinstated at the left back position. In the middle of the park, I assume Wenger will then then go back to the formation that we did play against CSK Moscow at home and that consisted of the three in the middle of, uh, of midfield and that was Granite Shaka, Jack Wilshere as well as Aaron Ramsey was absolutely magnificent last time out of course he obviously rested as well against Southampton so it should be nice fresh and fit for the long journey coming up ahead uh, up top we will see Ozil come back I'm not too sure who's going to come in in place of the injured Mkhitaryan but I would assume, based on what took place over the weekend, Daniel Welbeck will be keeping his place within the starting 11 uh, of the squad. Up top, Lacazette will come back within the squad. He's only just returned to full fitness and he's been scoring a, a couple of goals, I should say. So he's got three in two games, uh, the two games that he has started since he came back. So I'm assuming he will be also involved within the starting 11 itself. Of course, we are winning uh, with a significant margin. Uh, I doubt CSK Moscow will be able to score three goals but as always this is football anything can certainly happen essentially we just need to go there and see out the job in a very very professional manner just don't need to concede any goals if we do concede any goals it does not need to be more than two or one goal in my opinion but I reckon we will go away to CSK Moscow it's going to be a very very hostile tough environment it's going to be cold uh, as well out that way in Russia and uh, um, essentially, I do believe we may come away with a 2-1 win and uh, that will be the final score. That will be my personal prediction. But again, as usual, I want to see a bit more from Danny Welbeck. Did absolutely well over the weekend against Southampton. So I do believe that we will certainly be getting, um, we'll be progressing into the next round, I should say. So who do we want to meet in the next round? Of course, there's still a number of tough teams left within the, uh, the competition itself. But at this point, uh, personally, I would want to take Atletico Madrid uh, in the semi-finals and the reason being I wouldn't want the heartache of getting to the final and getting absolutely destroyed by Atletico Madrid. I do have a feeling that the way we are looking our team is fairly fit. We do have a fully fit squad I should say uh, apart from Mkhitaryan and I do believe if we face them now we've got high confidence. We've been winning games. I do believe we'll be able to nick a result off of them if we were to face them now on the way to the final. Who may we meet in the final? Uh, I'm not too sure. There's still a number of good teams as mentioned uh, that are still remaining in the competition the likes of Leipzig uh, Lazio is still involved as well so we will need to see how it pans out after after we play CSK Moscow who's going to be remaining in the competition etc but who do I want to face in the next round I'd like to take Atletico Madrid get it done and dusted early get it out of the way and uh, we will know if we'll be progressing into the final or not but of course this is our only chance of getting into the Champions League next season Top four is finished. Uh, we've been saying this for weeks and weeks now. So essentially, we need to go for bust on this competition. So as usual, guys, please do let me know what you think in the comments below. And if you are watching this video and you're not subscribed to the channel, please do make sure that you do hit that subscribe button. So once again, guys, it's your boy TC from I'm Gonna Talk TV. And I'm out.